Let's get back to our chief and talk about this potential, potential weather system that could impact us here in Georgia. And we are watching it. It's developing in the Gulf of Mexico, and we most likely will have some impacts from this by the end of the week. As of right now, we are not issuing a weather impact alert yet, but it is possible once we see the development of this system and the potential for those impacts and just how strong they will be, that we will need to issue a weather impact alert potentially for Thursday and Friday. We'll let you know more about that as we get more data in on this system. But for now, we are monitoring the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to see nice weather for the first half of the week. Temperatures, though, warming into the mid and even some upper 80s. And then we're going to be watching rain develop later in the week. And that is all dependent on the eventual track of this system that you see right now in the southern Gulf of Mexico. This is the system we've been watching that was developing over in the Caribbean last week, moved over the Yucatan Peninsula. And now that it's in the Gulf of Mexico, it is getting a little better organized and it is strengthening and it looks like it will continue to strengthen as it moves to the north right off of the Mexico coast then up the Texas coast well and an eventual landfall we're thinking in the middle of the week uh, up around the Texas and Louisiana line there. So here's the forecast track we're watching. Most likely this is going to become a tropical storm later on tonight. The next name on the list is Francine and then look through Tuesday and Wednesday how the wind speed increases here and then eventually by Wednesday afternoon potentially becoming a hurricane as it's making landfall. But then we have to watch this the remnant as they move up right along the Mississippi Valley there. We're on the right hand side of this system, so we are most likely going to have some impacts depending on the strength of the storm, how fast it's moving, and then of course eventually that uh, that forecast track. These are the spaghetti models pretty much in line with what the National Hurricane Center is showing. So here's the track from the European model showing the storm, how it's developing here in the Gulf of Mexico. On Monday, we remain rain free, but it starts bringing some of that rain in along the Gulf Coast region. And then as it moves on up to the north, we're thinking a landfall eventually by Wednesday. But notice on the right hand side of the track, that's where the heaviest rain is going to be. So as this continues moving up toward the north, we're thinking on Thursday, we're going to see a better coverage of rain moving into our area. That is going to stick with us on Friday as well. The center of the storm still way over here, but again, Again, on that right hand side, we will have not only the potential for that rain, but we'll also have to watch for the potential for some storms to develop along with that as well. Again, that all depends on the strength and the movement of that storm as it moves in. By Saturday, we're still going to hold on to some rain chances, but it may start tapering off a little bit, but maybe even some of that rain holding on into Sunday as well. So the next couple of days are going to be nice and dry. Now, since this is a new system and all this data is just now getting into the models, they are showing a big time difference here. Uh, this model, the American model, is showing between one and two inches of rain here through next Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the European model is showing more than three inches, so we're going to be fine tuning that as we go through the next few days here as more data again comes in. But for the next couple of days, we're going to be fine here. Tonight we're good. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. And then once we get into Tuesday, we're going to still see great weather weather is on Wednesday when we start seeing those clouds increasing a little bit warm in the 80s and then as that rain comes in uh, Thursday and Friday temperatures are back to the 70s and then some lingering showers holding on into Saturday and Sunday. All right, thanks a lot, Chris.